Okay, credit for this set goes out to uh, Patrick Henry, who's a club and high school coach in the great state of Texas. But the name of the set is called Doom. And how it works is there's a sliding scale for how many points a swimmer can get depending on their goal time. So when I'm looking here at swimmer goal times, I'm seeing that if they go under a 30 or whatever their fastest goal is, they get 10 points and then it slides backwards. But there's also a point where if you're slower than a certain time, you're going to uh, have points taken away from your score. So uh, I'm going to just do a real quick data entry here to show you guys how that works. So if I'm going to put in an athlete name, For this spreadsheet, the only places you need to enter data are in the yellow or in the, the data set here. Everything else is going to be locked that you don't have to do it. But what you do is you come in here and you put in, you know, what does Peter have to go to get 10 points? And I'm going to say Peter has to go with 35. And it's going to automatically give you these variables where 35 is the time that Peter has to go. Slower than 41, he's going to lose points. I also want to come in here and say which lane Peter's in because the whole point of Doom is that lanes are competing against each other. So when I come in here, I'm going to say that Peter is in lane one along with SpongeBob SquarePants. And then I'm going to start putting in some time. So the first one, Peter goes 34.5. So he's going to get 10 points for that. But let's say the next one, he's really gassed. He goes a 42.9. Well, see, now his score has gone down because he was at a 10 and then he got a minus five. So now he's at five. And then it starts to rank the athletes as well. So you can see instantaneously who's in what place. You can also see the average by lane. So let's say that Peter has another good one. He goes a 33, nine. Watch what happens to lane one's average time and average score when I hit enter. The score is going to increase because Peter's score increased. And the average time is going to decrease because Peter's average time is decreasing. And then I got, I'm just going to put in here a few more, 33, 9, 37, 9, 2. So we have our scores here and we have our average times by lane and average scores by lane. Then I can go through and I can look and see, you know, each one of my athletes are then ranked by their average time and they're also ranked by their average score. So, you know, we, we want to avoid only having this system be set up for our fast kids. So average time is great. That's a great kind of, you know, badge to, you know, wear, but the whole point of the set is to engage every athlete, not just the fast ones. So even though our fastest athletes may uh, have the fastest times, it doesn't mean necessarily that they're going to do as well on the set because their score is uh, reflective of their individual goals. So if I were to, you know, change Bugs Bunnies, which he was in first place to a 25, now all of a sudden Bugs Bunny has a negative 24 for his score. So even though he's really fast, he had a bad day, and he's actually going to be in last place for the day.